8 p.m. Hawaii buoy reports. Large surf always pounds the north shores of Hawaii during the winter months. But no one had ever dreamed of surfing waves as big as those said to be on the way to Hawaii on January 28, 1998. We get very, very intense storm, winter storm systems um, in the western Pacific that produce unusually large swell. So Hawaii is, is uh, uniquely positioned to get very large waves. It's the uh, island group that's furthest away from any major landmass uh, on, on the planet. Essentially, it is the action of the uh, atmosphere wind on the ocean that produces the wave. There are three factors that are important. One is the wind speed, naturally. The stronger the wind, the, the greater the potential for large waves. The second is the fetch, or the distance over which the wind is blowing, producing the waves. And the third is the duration that the wind is blowing over this area. Swells are recorded and reported daily by the National Weather Service. Richard Grigg is one of the world's most respected oceanographers and a professor at the University of Hawaii. He is also one of the great surfers of the 20th century. His big wave riding is the stuff of legend. What determines the shape of the wave is the shape of the bottom. If the bottom is gradual, the wave will come in and spill or crumble off the top. Whereas if the bottom is abrupt, you have a shelf the wave will come in, it hit that shelf, the energy is suddenly and abruptly concentrated upward. It becomes very steep and very unstable all at once and it throws out in a plunging manner and you have a top to bottom breaking curl. And that of course is the ultimate for a surfer because that's where you want to be, in the curl. <laughs> 